And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Demondosaurus, which was a request from Tyrant King via Patreon and Discord. So thanks. It was a Rabacosaurid sauropod that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Burgos, Spain, in the Castrillo de la Reina formation. As a quick reminder, Rabacosaurids are part of the family Diplodocidae, but they're considered to be more basal than Diplodocus. Demondosaurus looked like other sauropods. It had a large body, columnar legs, long tail, and a long, thick neck. It also had simple neural spines. It was medium size, estimated to be between 33 to 39 feet or 10 to 12 meters long. Yeah, it's not so big. Yeah. And it was herbivorous. It had pencil-type elongated slender teeth that were mostly straight with a slight curve. It was named by Fidel Torcida Fernandez Baldor and others in 2011. And the type and only species is Demondosaurus darwini. And that genus name means Demonda lizard. It refers to the Sierra de la Demanda, the mountain chain where the type specimen was found, and the species name is in honor of Charles Darwin. They found an incomplete but associated skeleton, so cranial and postcranial fossils. The fossils were found in the Tanadas de los Vallejos II quarry, near the town of Salas de los Infantes. And this quarry was found in 1999 during prospection work. The fossils were excavated in 2002 to 2004. They found about 810 skeletal elements, most of them from a single Rabacosaurid individual. Now, these fossils, they were disarticulated and close to each other. They also found fossils from a small ornithopod, two spinosaurids, and a crocodile tooth. The holotype of Demondosaurus includes premaxillae, left dentary, six teeth, vertebrae, ribs, ischia, and left femur. It had nine atapomorphies in the teeth and vertebrae, which is what makes it unique. That includes some tooth ornamentation and pneumatic cavities. Demondosaurus is a sister group of Nigerosaurus. The premaxillae is taller than it is wide, also known as subrectangular, and that's similar to Nigerosaurus. And Demondosaurus helps show that dinosaurs sometimes in the early Cretaceous move between Laurasia and Gondwana. Rabacosaurids have been found on both continents, and that may mean that there was a land connection at the end of the early Cretaceous. This is first based on the description of the Rabacosaurid Histriosaurus in 1999 that was found on the Istrian Peninsula, which is shared by Croatia, Slovenia, and Italy. McKenna in 1973 said that this was an example of dispersal through quote-unquote Noah's Ark. So part of Gondwana, now North Africa, split off and collided with the south of Laurasia, now Europe, and that became part of Laurasia on the Apulian Plate. Now this migration by the Apulian Plate may have been the starting point for the Apulian route that happened at the end of the Cretaceous, but may have also been used in the early Cretaceous. This route might not have been a land corridor, but the islands on the route may have been close enough that some animals could move between them, hmm. like Demondosaurus or a close ancestor of Demondosaurus. Wading through very deep water or doing a little bit of swimming. Yeah. Or occasional wading and then getting blown off course by a storm or something. Just thinking literal island hopping. Yeah. <laughs> hopping. <laughs> yeah. If it could really stretch out its legs. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.